a group of scientists from the U.S. and U.K. teaming up to create what is being called the world's first synthetic human embryos made without eggs or sperm. Some are calling it a scientific breakthrough. Others say it raises serious ethical and legal questions. Yeah, it's a terrifying prospect, and when you read about it, um, uh, it, it feels a little bit um, uh, Black Mirror-ish in a way. You know, Black Mirror is all about you yeah. know shining a light on you yes. know kind of like the darkest parts. Everything, yeah. Yeah. the yeah. underbelly. Yeah. The yeah. underbelly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's yes. It, it, yes, the great word. I am part of the underbelly. You are. We were actually just talking about artificial intelligence earlier in the show, and talk of AI is a major part of of the episode. Huge. Could you see that plot perhaps playing out in real life? I think it. It is playing out in real life, um, which is, you know, it's a spooky thing. Here's what's going on here. They took one single cell, embryonic stem cell, one single cell, and they're manipulating it to see what the placenta would look like, what the yolk sac would look like. They're not creating actual embryos that you could do something with. There's no precursor of a brain or a heart, and they're not planning on using it for anything other than testing why someone miscarries or what are genetic abnormalities and can you predict them? But I have a question. I would have a question for the researcher here, same as I have a question about gain of function research. Could you do this with computers? Could you do this with artificial intelligence? Could you predict this without using this actual cell and manipulating it? As the Guardian notes, this discovery also falls beyond the realm of uh, regulation in the UK and in most countries, so it does raise a lot of ethical issues. Uh, the embryos don't have, uh, don't have a beating heart or any brain matter, but they have enough matter to form a placenta, an egg yolk, and embryo. Uh, so, as I said, uh, raising major ethical and legal questions as well. It's caught a lot of people's attention and making a lot of headlines.